Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to show you how to modify a uh, water purification system that I got from Costco. It's the Watts Premier Reverse Osmosis Pure Plus Purification System. Um, it comes with uh, four filters and a tank and the water faucet, drinking faucet. And I'm going to basically take out the membrane part, the green filter, which is the part that uh, does most of the work it actually filters out um, that's this is the reverse osmosis portion that uh, filters out most of the um, stuff off the water including the essential minerals and um, <coughs> that's that's part number 16 reverse osmosis membrane and it's the green filter <coughs> um, it actually takes um, using the filter it takes about five parts of water to make one part of drinking water and the rest of it drains up to the red tube that's um, that your system um, has installed that comes out of the the side of the drinking faucet and it's a good system but um, the filter is very strong and it makes the water actually taste uh, tasteless and it removes the essential minerals uh, that uh, your body needs minerals such as iron, magnesium, calcium, and sodium <coughs> can actually cause mineral deficiency. So when um, when I got this system about five years ago, I would never changed the filter, so it started getting kind of clogged up. <coughs> so I was looking to buy a new filter. Found the filters were fifty five dollars each and. I mean, that's okay, but uh, then also read about how it filters too much of the stuff off and your body needs the essential minerals. So I started looking at trying to get another water filter and then I decided why not just modify mine. So make it a three filter system. So these are the parts here. Um, basically take the parts, uh, uh, take them apart and they're just screwed down by those four screws on the top. And this is the piece that we're going to throw away. It's This is the part that works with the membrane OR fil RO filter. And you can see how the water just passes through the one side and the other side. The other two that looks like this, actually two or three, that looks like this, It's um they don't pass through. They're just on the top. Water doesn't flow through it. So those are the ones that we're going to keep. And this one is the one we're going to throw away. You know, this one, uh, this is the uh, part where the filter goes in. And what we want to do first is basically clean it with some white distilled vinegar. <coughs> soak it, um, soak all the parts in the, in the tub with white distilled vinegar. And give it a good brushing with a toothbrush. Uh, make sure everything's cleaned out. It accumulates a lot of uh, grime and dirt over the years and you can see how all the dirt cam comes off <coughs> and there's parts that are really hard to get in the crevices so I'd use a, a very small paper clip to get to the crevices and really clean out as much as I can uh, with the parts that I am going to keep <coughs> and I just find the ones that are the cleanest it doesn't really matter which one you take because all the parts are pretty much interchangeable like I said, except that one that um, does the um, the flow of the water on the top. And that's the only one piece that was different. Everything else is pretty much the same. They're interchangeable, so it doesn't matter how what order you got it in. It just matters which filter goes in what order. So this this part is the um, the bracket that held the filter. So what we got to do is um, we got to make a bigger hole because um, it came from that this the other side part on the left side and that piece didn't fit this part so I had to cut out a bigger hole in order for it to fit in tight so what I use is um, <coughs> I use one of these uh, rotary tools with a uh, disc cutter and just cut through it because it's um, it, there's actually plastic but it's reinforced by metal in the middle so it, it's not um, very easy to cut but it can cut through you can see the metal right there in the middle so you got to cut through it and enlarge the hole 
and now um, after that's done we can reassemble it so this is how the units basically gonna look you can see a gap right there um, between the green and the and the silver part and this is the hole that <coughs> that we're not gonna use and that's the part that um, with the, where we're basically removing one filter so the water comes in from this way and flows to this filter into the second filter uh, water goes in comes out and ends up in the out valve and this is the one that we're not using the very last one at the right end <coughs> so um, what we got to do is figure out to fix that gap so <coughs> we got to pull this a little bit closer because I found that it was a little bit a little bit further away because the parts um, basically we we basically modified it so we pushed it in and it doesn't fit exactly <coughs> so I gotta put two more screws right there I marked the in the green marker I'm gonna drill a screw up here and on the other side a drill over here um, what I just marked where I'm gonna drill it at right into the in that's the center line into the middle where I'm gonna put another hole and when I drill the hole in it's gonna push this in and fill the gap in so now that everything's together you can see the gap is um, been narrowed down it's a lot thinner now it's very together looks good and basically this is the filter uh, system now that we have in place uh, it's final um, we only got three filters here. It's gonna go from red, yellow to gray now. The the red filter is the sediment filter, and then the yellow one is the carbon filter, and the gray one is the post carbon filter. The water is gonna come in through the green line. It's gonna flow through down this way and into the in valve, and it's gonna come across first filter sediment second filter carbon third filter post carbon and then out through the blue valve tube straight up into the drinking faucet so back up here that's what's going to be um, so and this is the tank that used to um, store the water from the reverse osmosis filter because it was so slow in processing it needed to fill up a tank <coughs> and it takes a really long time to fill up that tank uh, and that's the big plus about doing it this way because now you don't have to wait for the water it comes pretty much immediately this the red tube is the drainage tube uh, also for the reverse osmosis so since we're getting rid of that filter we don't need that red tube we don't need the tank and we can throw all that stuff away it's uh, not used anymore. So this is the valve to it's right now shut off. So you can see that no water's flowing through. Uh, I just put the system the system together. So we're gonna try it for the first time, see if it works. So all we need to do is turn this valve to the open position. Um, it's a little bit hard to crank, especially with one hand, because uh, uh, I got my other hand taking the video so here we go it's just crank it counterclockwise until it's face parallel to the tube I can hear the water going water's flowing through now green tube down into the filters and it passes through really quick now now that the reverse osmosis filter is not in place because that that's the piece that really took a long time and immediately it should come right up here so here he is and the water flows right through and um, simple as that as much water as you need no more waiting for the RO filter to filter up the water and we can throw the tank away now we don't need all that we will free up space on the bottom of the cabinet um, and so now the filter is filtering through three the filter is filtering through three filters which is still very clean the water tastes great it doesn't taste tasteless but it tastes much better than tap water for sure uh, it, it tastes pretty good and now you get all the essential minerals 
and everything else that you need and uh, it's also cleaning up all the um, arsenic and lead and all the bad stuff from your water so all in all it's um it's a good it's a good modification of the system highly recommend it and now um we mount the system back on where it was there it is so if you have any questions please comment below